What's up guys, it is Charles Rara, and welcome back to another episode of a Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we caught ourselves, our sixth member of our team, in y No. In Yami, the Absol. Also, you may notice that a couple of our Pokemon's levels are a bit different. Well, that is because off screen I decided to train up a little bit because I had one failed recording against this gym leader where things went very, very badly. And unfortunately, because of that, um, the trainers in the gym have all been defeated. I think there was only one that we hadn't fought yet, so you didn't miss out on much, and I think it was just a Swablu or something like that, so not, not a heck of a lot missed, but yeah. Unfortunately, that trainer will be lost to time. I think it was this one. Yeah, it was that trainer there. Um, but yeah, that, that battle against Winona went really badly. Like, we got to a second to last Pokemon, I think it was, and then she just stomped us. So hopefully this battle will go better. So we will save in front. Uh, we're at the so far, yep. Okay, we save the game. So, um, I am actually going to lead with the army. I am going to lead with the army, so... Um, yeah, here we go. Also, before we go into this any further, am I the only one who thought, back when I was about seven years old, that Winona in this sprite just looks a lot older than she actually is? She doesn't look like an old woman per se, but she definitely just looks older than she actually is. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that was just my seven-year-old brain being like, her head looks weird. She must be old. Wow. But yes, she's starting off with a Swablu, level 29. We'll start off with our Yami, level 30. Uh, off screen, Yami learned the move Swords Dance, which I will demonstrate right here. Raises the attack, I think, two stages, which is pretty good. Uh, Swablu is going to try and do the same thing. Unfortunately, it will fail, though, because it cannot learn... Well, I don't think it can learn Swords Dance. And you're going to use Quick Attack. Okay. Or I think, no, Mirror Move is just, um, if it's an attacking move, it will use the same thing. Kind of like Counter. Actually, yeah, it's exactly like Counter. Uh, Tropius. I think the best way to handle Tropius would be to use our lovely Swooper. Swooper the Crobat. So yeah. Um, on the topic of Winona, I've I've never actually researched this myself, and I might actually put it up on screen uh, if I do remember to research it. But in the anime, I've heard that Winona actually, in her appearance, she has a shiny Pokemon with her, and I. It's one of the few times the shiny Pokemon's actually ever appeared in the anime. Uh, the others being, I know there was a shiny Noctowl that appeared once. Um, there was the Crystal Onyx, or the Diamond Onyx, or something like that. Um, but yeah, and I remember Winona actually, there was a shiny in one of her episodes, and I want to say it may have been a Swellow. I think it could have been a Swellow. I'll put it up on screen if I'm right or wrong. Um, but yeah. So. Winona, the 6th gym leader, also using a Tropius, level 29. Um, but yeah, it's interesting to think that we are already at the 6th gym leader. We only have two more before the Elite Four. Um, we'll keep Swooper in to fight Pelipa, to fight this Pelipa, especially because it's really close to another level up. So, yes. And we haven't gotten to the Pokemon yet that caused so much trouble, but when we do, trust me, I'll let you know. Um, oh, Supersonic, no. That is the thing that annoys me the most about Pelipper. That they pretty much all have Supersonic. And Supersonic is one hell of an annoying attack. So hopefully Swooper cannot be confused. Yes, okay. Now if it can snap out of confusion next turn, that'd be great. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Of course that would happen. Of course that would freaking happen. And now you'll snap out. Yep. Yeah, I freaking called it. I freaking called it. And now it's going to protect and succeed? Okay, no. So I did get my flying. Oh, if you had hit me with Supersonic again, I would have been so annoyed at you. Okay, she's going to try Supersonic again. Protect. No. Okay, this Pelipper's acting really weird. Just probably because it really wants to get off that Supersonic. Like that annoying Pokemon that it is. Um... You're gonna heal, I'm just gonna wing attack, I don't care. I'll probably end up hitting myself, knowing knowing this game, it'll probably end up hitting myself. Go on, come on, prove me right. Yep, thank you. Thank you very much. 
Oh, come on, hit yourself again. Just, just hit yourself again. Oh, okay, no, okay. Okay, my, my sarcasm will only get me so far. I understand. Um, ah, protect! I should have, I should have used fly. You're gonna snap out. No, okay, you're gonna stay confused for the full five turns. Lovely. Love, love, love it. Okay, wing attack. That'll drop it down pretty low. Um, I don't think Fly would knock... Oh, I, no, I don't think Fly would knock it out. And you're going to protect again. Ugh, why are you so annoying, Pelipper? Oh, this Pelipper's so annoying. At least we got her to burn one of our healing items, though. That's the main thing. Um, Please don't knock out my Crobat. Thank you. Fly. Okay, cool. So that should be her Pelipper knocked out. Uh, assuming it doesn't use protect, which it won't. Good, 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 good. That's what we like to see. Um, and Swooper will go to level 33. Very, very nice. Now, here comes the Pokemon that ended my run. Here it comes. Skarmory. This Skarmory right here is the reason I had a failed recording. This thing would sand attack Mizuguru so that it could not land a single surf and then just stock steel wings. And its defense would get higher and higher and higher. And it would use Aerial Ace as well. And it would get critical hits like nobody's business. Well, way to make a liar out of me, game. Way to make an absolute liar out of me. Oh, okay, whatever. I'll, I shouldn't, I should not complain at all. I should not complain. Her final Pokemon, Altaria. Oh, okay, it's gonna boom, boom, shake the room. Yes, Altaria, the evolved form of Swablu. It is a flying dragon type. You heard that correctly, a flying dragon type. And it hits really, really hard. Um... Altaria is technically more of a defensive type, more of a physical special wall rather than anything else, but it can still do quite a bit of damage. And its Mega Evolution, which I have gone over a bit in previous episodes, gains the, abil uh, gains the ability Pixelite and the Fairy type, and then really becomes a force to be reckoned with. Uh, the move it just did then, Dragon Dance, will up its speed and its attack, so that can be quite scary, especially when it's going to do something like that. Boom, boom, shake the room! Okay, cool didn't do that much damage, so Izzy will be okay. Um, actually, Izzy might be able to knock it out. Oh, so close. Uh, you're going to heal, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to heal. Yep, you have two Hyper Potions, if I remember correctly. So, use the first one on the Tripius. No, the Pelipper. And the, there's the second one. That's not too bad. That is bad. Um, for anyone who has ever done competitive battling, they would know that uh, letting someone get two Dragon Dancers off is generally a bad thing. Especially when it's on a Pokemon like Altaria, or maybe even something like Feraligator. Especially if it's with a sheer force and holding a life orb. Then you just you just submit. It's like, okay, uh, that is a GG, sir. Well played. But on the note of GG well played, we take down her Altaria, and we defeat the sixth gym leader. In recognition of your prowess, I present to you this gym badge. We gain, is it the Feather Badge? The Feather Badge from Winona. My Winona. I had to make that joke some point, so better at the end of the battle. <laughs> With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received in trades will obey your every command. You'll also be able to use the HM move Fly outside of battle. And this, this is a gift from me. TM40, which I believe is Aerial Ace, actually. It contains Aerial Ace, it's speed. No Pokemon should be able to avoid it. Da, 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 da. Register Winona in the Pokenav. Now, s I'm actually going to use this TM quite soon. I'm actually probably going to use it as soon as I go and heal up. Now, some of you in the comments will probably be thinking, Oh, well, wait, hold on. Hi, Jack, it's me. Just as I thought you... Just as I thought, you won at the Four Tree Gym. Oh, wait, oh, no, it's Scott. I've got to do Scott voice. Your strength. Perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering from the sidelines. Keep up the great work. Click. I keep forgetting to do Scott's voice whenever he shows up. I need a... I just need to get in the character. Do the smooth, suave voice that comes 
from being the elusive eyes known as Scott. It's actually kind of interesting. You're comparing his sprite to what he looks like in the anime. I always thought he was like this, you know, slim looking dude with sort of like a mohawk looking thing and then he appears in the anime and he's kind of like the stereotypical Hawaii va um, the stereotypical um, tourist in Hawaii with the um, you know the Hawaiian jack uh, the Hawaiian the Hawaiian shirt oh my god the Hawaiian shirt and he's a little bit of a chupster he's got he's still got those cool glasses though he's still got them cool glasses and he talks a little bit like this except not as badly but yes that is the sixth gym leader defeated, which means we can now use the move fly. So Swooper, would you kindly take us back to Pedalberg City? Because I would actually like to show off a couple of things that we can do now that we have some more of the HMs, like fly, like surf, uh, like rock smash and strength. So first things first is here in Pedalberg City. Now we can start surfing on this water and there's a new Pokemon we can find. For any of you anime fans out there, you can catch the Pokemon Corphish in this little pond over here, which will eventually evolve into Crawdon. Crawdon is a water dark type Pokemon, which, like Absol, is hindered by the physical special split. Probably more so than Absol, because a water dark type means that all of its moves are going to be pretty much special based, or any stab moves will be special, not physical. So it kind of sucks to be Crawdon. Um, less so for Absol, because you know, it can still use things like Slash and all those sort of things. Crawdon in newer games like Black and White or Diamond and Pearl can be a force to be reckoned with, and if you're looking for a good water type physical attacker, I'd probably recommend it. But in Gen 3, I'd probably try and steer clear of it, for now at least. Uh, over here, just south of Rossboro City and north of Petterburg Woods, we have a... Is it here? No? Oh wait, maybe I already picked up this item. I'm getting the feeling that I already picked that item up, which I think it was a PP up or a PP max. One of the two. Um, where's something else? Where's somewhere else we can go? Uh, do -ba -do -ba -do. There is the Trick Master's house that we can go to and visit in Slayport City, but I think I might save that for the next episode because the, it's just more accessible at that point. Um, we've already done New Morville. There's... Oh, there's an area north of Morville City, actually, that I totally forgot about. We'll need to grab sparkles out of the PCs just so we can get the rock smash. But, uh, yeah. In the next episode, we'll probably uh, head to the Trickmaster's house, actually, and take a little bit of a break from our main story adventures. Um, I'll take out Izzy. Because, Izzy, you've been, been fighting pretty hard for a while, so take a, take a load off, man. Okie dokie. So now we're heading out here. So we'll come north of Morville City onto Route 111. And oh hey, we actually didn't even need uh, sparkles, but eh, it's good for him to get a little bit of screen time now and again. Now that we've got six Pokemon, we probably won't be seeing him as much as we normally would. We find a HP up. Very useful item that raises the uh, HP, the base HP of a Pokemon one stage. There we go. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's popping out to me straight away. Um, no, no, not overly. Uh, we might actually have a shorter episode today, just because we defeated a gym leader, and I don't really want to get stuck in with more plot stuff because uh, next, coming up next week, we'll be heading to Mount Pyre, and I think Mount Pyre could be an episode on its own. So. Um, also, I'll take that item from you. I might take that item from... No, I didn't want to move Pokemon. I wanted to move items. I might just snag that Great Ball from you. Izzy? Yep, yeah, Izzy? Sparkles. Sparkles, come on. But yes. So, with that said, on the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, we will be heading back to the Trickmaster's house and doing the new couple of challenges he's got for us. Because let me tell you, he's been busy while we've been going around around collecting all those gym badges so it'll be interesting to see what he's got for us so thank you guys very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this episode as always if you did enjoy this episode please give it a like down below and if you'd like to keep up to date with my channel and the new content that will be coming out please subscribe uh feel free to check out my other series like let's play dark souls versus with tim we are currently on episode seven right now 
and also check out the top 10s I've done. There'll be a new top 10 coming out probably around the end of this month. And also, keep in mind that November, I am planning to have a full month of videos dedicated to Pokemon with the release of Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see, any top 10s, any special sort of videos, um, in terms of Let's Plays, I'm not going to be really doing anything for Pokemon because I'm either going to be having a new Let's Play going on, uh, that which will just like slot in wherever time is available for Pokemon, or I will be taking a break because um, Dark Souls and Pokemon will finish. Because basically, when Pokemon finishes, Dark Souls will take its place, and then when Dark Souls finishes, I'll take a one month break and the new Let's Play will then come out. So, yep, give any suggestions to videos you'd like to see for Dark Souls Month down below. Uh, or just comment on anything you liked or would like to see improved for the next video. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. As always, I have been Chesarai, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye bye.